Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a while, actually a long, long while, but I'm back and I have a new artist that we're going to talk about today. Um, I have so many artists that I want to talk about, so there'll be more of me even if I take longer to come back or in between, but just remember that I will be back. There's so much to talk about art and there's so much that I still haven't covered. So anyway, today we're going to talk about Johannes Vermeer and Vermeer's work is very skilled, very, very well done. But this particular painting we're going to do is something that I think I, I can tackle, maybe in the terms of when it comes to drawing, but it's the painting Girl with a Pearl Earring. There's actually even a movie about it. Which I've never seen, by the way, but now I'm interested to see. I know that Scarlett Johansson uh, is in the movie and plays the girl with the pearl earring. Which I actually got to meet Scarlett when I was in um, deployed, when I was in the army. She was very, very pleasant. But anyway, uh, Johannes Vermeer, he was born in 1632 and he died in 1675. He was a Dutch painter. And the movie that I'm talking about with, jo uh, with Scarlett Johansson came out in 2003, so it's been out for a while. Let's get to it. All you need will be a pincer and eraser. I'm going to use a Sharpie just because uh, you'll be able to see it better. Um, every time I start a painting or a drawing with, of a person, I always like to start with the eyes. So we're going to do just that. And I always tell my kids that it's like drawing a frown, like the top portion of the eye. And then drawing the bottom portion of the eye, it's like drawing a happy face. And inside of this eye, we're going to do the iris, the pupil, which is just circles. If I go too fast, you know, just pause or re-watch. Then there's a line underneath her eye and then one above it that curves down slightly. And then above that we have her eyebrow. Just like that. So the next part will be uh, her nose. So you gotta leave some space in between the eye and where the nose will be and just bring the line down, but as you're coming down, extend it uh, outward and then bring it in and then where this end ends is where the other eyebrow begins but since it's not um, front view, you don't see the entire eyebrow or the entire eye, which will, the bottom part will be here the top part right above and since it's a, it's a quarter V the eye this eye has to be a little bit smaller than this one the inside of the eye you draw a line underneath and then one below I'm sorry one below and then one above that will be this part when, where your eyelid goes in now, where the other nostril will be, you just add kind of like a swirl. And there you have her eyes. This was probably the most important part. And this is, if this is off, then it's not going to look like her. So you're going to make sure that you put, put a lot of time and attention in getting this very precise. Now, the next part will be her lips. We'll start with the upper lip. simple enough shape and then the bottom begins where this one ends bring it down over and up and then her mouth is slightly open so then her cheekbones her chin and you're just going to bring this up just going to make sure that you come and touch the eyes here and the eyebrow so this is also tricky, so that's why you have to use a pencil because if you don't get this right, you'll have to erase it. And then you stop. We're not going to do her whole head because she's wearing a turban, so we have to draw the turban. And then the most part, the most important part will be the earring because it's the painting 
title, you know, the girl with the pearl earring. But before we do that, we're just going to draw her turban. And where the turban ends is where her ear will begin. Just draw the ear in here. And then, of course, the most important part, her earring, which is just like a, a teardrop shape. Then we add her neck. And I guess we can finish the turban. Add some lines, you know, because it's cloth made. And then it has a part that goes down. So from here, you just add vertical lines round them off at the bottom bring them up add some lines to create the you know a sense of fabric and then round it off at the top more lines and all of this is you know depends on how you want it to look. You can add more lines, less lines. This really is just subjective to your taste. And now the last part is her dress. This is her shoulder, so this is her gown. Bring the line all the way down. This is her back, and then, I'm sorry, this is her back and this is her shoulders right here. And she's wearing kind of like a, a lacy dress. You know, you add the lines to create the sense of movement and fa uh, that it's fabric. And like I said, you can add as many or as little as you want. Now it's fairly, fairly, fairly simple. Like I said, if this, if I went too fast, go ahead and slow it down or pause it. Uh, I think this is one of the most beautiful paintings that Vermeer has done. Even though all his work is incredible, this is actually my favorite one and it's, a, it's one of his most recognizable works. Tell me what you think I should paint next, or draw that is. Uh, also, please make sure and subscribe, like, and share, and write your comments below what you think. And uh, until next time, please keep watching. Adios y bye.